as a scientist, we have a basic curiosity to understand how plants evolve, how plants develop. And in addition, when you know this basic machinery that uh, uh, lay behind the, the development and uh, evolving, then we can figure out how to manipulate it. So it goes side by side, usefulness and basic knowledge. In plants, in, in any uh, actually cells, uh, the, the proteins have an order, so to speak, where to go. And uh, we're trying to really to understand the mechanism and rules that are um, underlying that behavior. So that's in a very simple way to explain to you how, what the kind of work we do. And we're using a lot of variety of uh, very modern and old type of approaches. We're using a lot of microscopy, a lot of genetics, a lot of cell biology, visual microscopy, and uh, biochemistry. And lately, when I came to UCR, we introduced another way of studying plant cells. We call it chemical genomics. We're using small molecules to perturb function of a particular protein and then to look for a phenotype and then to study it. It's very wonderful to have these young people to come to you when they are very naive and they don't know much and you work with them and it's not only me, uh, people uh, much more mature uh, postdocs and uh, people who've been in the lab for a long time working with them and suddenly you see them evolve and be they feel independent and you sort of leave them alone and they already become not your students or colleagues and that's what I love. I love to see when they become their own people, very independent and they argue with me and I love it.